What's up, the Cinema Shogun here? It's with a heavy heart that I am here once again to report to you all that we have lost another comedy legend. Louis Anderson passed away this morning in Las Vegas from cancer complications at the age of 68. And this news is just absolutely devastating to me because I'm a 90s baby that's big on nostalgia. And when I think of Louis Anderson, I think of the 90s. Like when I think of the 90s, I see Louis Anderson's face right there. Such an iconic comedian from the time. I know a lot of people probably remember him from his roles on Coming to America, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hell, some people probably remember him or know him from watching him on Family Feud. I know that me and my grandma, we used to sit down and eat peanut butter toast in the morning and watch Family Feud. She would sip on her coffee. I would sip on some chocolate milk, just eating our peanut butter toast watching Louis Anderson on Family Feud, we always enjoy those moments. But what I remember Louis for the most was a little cartoon called Life with Louis that was loosely based on his life that used to come on Fox Kids. I absolutely loved that show. I would get out of school every day, come home, turn on Channel 10 Fox, and bam, I would watch Life with Louis. And that's where I first became familiar with who Louis Anderson was. And his voice was just so iconic. He was one of those comedians where it's not always necessarily the jokes that he's, you know, running across and things like that. It's sometimes the voice. It's just when you hear Louie's voice, you know it's Louie. And I thought he did such a good job at voicing that cartoon. And I really wish that he went on to do more like voice acting work because he just had such an iconic voice and such a funny voice. Like anything he said with that voice just came across as almost sarcastic in a way, sarcastic, funny, type of a whiny voice a little bit, but I really enjoyed um, that show, you know, growing up. I always saw myself in him a little bit because I'm a big guy and he was a big guy, so here's a show about this fat kid traversing through life, so I always dug that. And in many ways, I think Louis Anderson helped shape my sense of humor. You know, I'll also credit things like South Park and other things as well, but Definitely, Louis had a little bit of an influence on my sense of humor as well. And I am so glad that I was a part of a generation that got to experience, you know, Louis Anderson's career. Because I don't feel like kids coming up in today's world will ever get to enjoy that type of comedy, you know? We, people in my generation were like the last generation that got to experience real comedy no holds barred comedy, when you weren't worried about offending anyone, you know? So I really am thankful every day that I got to live in like that last generation and I got to experience so many comedic legends before the world just went to shit and people couldn't tell jokes anymore. So yeah, it's definitely sad news, it's unexpected. He was battling with cancer, but it wasn't something that I mean, I that I knew was going on. I didn't know that it was this bad. Um, so it definitely just came out of nowhere this morning after we already heard the announcement that Meatloaf passed away as well. So it's definitely a hard day. It's a hard day for a lot of 80s, 90s babies, even 70s babies. A lot of us are going to be, you know, a little down and out today because we've lost two legends today. Two legends that made a lasting impact on our culture for sure. So RIP Meatloaf. I may make a video about that, but I don't. Meatloaf didn't affect me or, you know, in the ways that Louis Anderson did. But I know that Meatloaf, you know, a lot of people are upset about that as well. So RIP to Meatloaf and RIP to Louis Anderson. It's, it sucks. It's sad, but I'm probably going to spend the rest of my day in between making videos, which I have a lot of videos to pump out today, watching life with Louis and just celebrating Louis Anderson's life and his career. So. I want to know your thoughts. What are your earliest memories of Louis Anderson? Do you have any good memories of Louis Anderson? What was your favorite movie or TV show he starred in? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And as always, find some time out of your day to go watch Life with Louis.